Hey, Genki. I, uh, I gotta confess something. You were bitten by a spider and now you have powers? No. I mean, yeah. But, okay, while you were sleeping in, I kind of played Speed Nonagon. The build I sent you last spring, or? The one on your laptop. Dude, that one's not done. It, it, it's a total mess. I thought it was cool. I love the part with the expanding your deck units. You made it the third level? Yeah. Why? Did I beat your high score? Everybody's talking about no Spider-Man. so freaked out when we get a time capsule in this cave. The place still gives me the creeps. Great. Mom made this piquet hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuelo's recipe, I think. Finn put it on everything. Always said, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Finn loved coming here. So it was a good place to think. Piece of cake. Got the tour of Oscorp in eighth grade. Finn was way skeptical. Said that they were gonna destroy New York one day. Devil's breath almost proved her right. in that tree planter. Used to sneak up here to stargaze. Never saw one until the 2016 blackout. And wow, sky was full of them. Found it. God, Finn was always checking out books before she finished her last ones. She even grabbed mine when I wasn't looking. Said it kept her brain sharp. Man, we love the look of this museum. Had fun hiding this one like it was part of the architecture. League. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer, and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends.
stuffed the capsule in one of these pipes. I can't remember which one. Here we go. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, total fail. Red bean ice cream was not bad, though. tickets. Finn convinced me to go with her. I went ready to hate it and wound up buying three CDs and a t-shirt. Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life. Going into the 21st century. What the? our Everest back in the day. We were so pumped when we finally made it to the top. Awesome. We always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of and invented our own imaginary elements to explain it. Finn's names always sounded the best. Construction workers see me. Gotta try again. Do you see that? Freaking thing just disappeared like mad. <laughs> Parts from the first PC we built. I used it for gaming. Finn used it to help an ESU Alzheimer's research team. Both good uses, I'd say. Got it. Just about brand development. It's happening. Oh, oh, yes. Time capsules under that holiday train thing. Gotta move it out the way. The underground have been stealing from feast, you know. What? That doesn't sound like them. 
I've got it on tape. Taking a break. Besides, how I do respect you know that. I got it. I got a picture. Right. Man, we flew down the street after we tricked out these skates with compressed air boosters. Neighbors started calling us the little geniuses after that. All that attention felt kind of weird and kind of cool. Changing the suit. <laughs> Time capsule should be out on those pylons. Finn was fearless hopping off those back in the day. Gotcha. We gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms. Summer skating here. Should come back more often. Bingo! After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. She wanted to reinvent the whole world. Capsule. Used to be a dump, but I'm glad they cleaned it up a little. Found it. After seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. under that fountain when it was first installed. It's been so long, now they're doing repairs on it. I think I can use that hoist to move the fountain. Fountain trick. Finn loved these scratch art pads. Said it reminded her that no matter what something looked like on the surface, there was always more going on underneath.
think it's in that chimney. The day we hit it, wind was crazy strong. It nearly blew me off the building. Nailed it. Finn upgraded her swim goggles with sonar and a heads-up display. She never could stand losing to anyone, especially me.